Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Keith Thurman's return is reportedly pushed back again. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations the venmo donations and the patreon family we working now right now it's a tough time to be a keith thurman diehard fan because you haven't been able to see him in the ring he last unified which he has now lost that belt and it looks like danny garcia and sean porter are going to fight for that belt and he had a, a surgery on his elbow. He said he had some damage to his elbow even before the Garcia fight. Had surgery for it, and he's been MIA since. Um, I haven't really seen him at any fights that I've covered. I've been to some of PBC, Showtime's biggest cards, like Brona Vargas, Triple Header, and I haven't seen him. I don't know if he's at the Jamal Charlo Trout, Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton, or Leo Santa Cruz, Abner Mata's rematch. But now they're saying... He's going to come back September 8th, but the rumor for his comeback was August 4th. Now, I know it's just a little over a month, but the thing is, he's been out for quite some time. Even the guy he, he fought last, Danny Garcia, took about a year off. He took a lot of time off, but he's at least come back to fight Brandon Rios, and it looks like he's going to be fighting in August. So how is it that Danny Garcia will, once the Sean Porter fight gets announced, if it's still on August 28th or, or whatever the date is, then how is it that the guy you fought will have fought two good fights, good to, I think Deshaun Porter's a really good fight, you know what I mean, Brandon Rios, that was a comeback after a loss, and then fighting Sean Porter, good competition, you know what I mean, within the same amount of time. Now, I understand Danny Garcia didn't necessarily have an injury, but at the same time, they said the healing process, he would be good by even December of last year. Then they said he was going to come back January, February, possibly against Jesse Vargas. And then Jesse Vargas did a bunch of interviews and he said, no, nah, he don't want to fight someone as game as me. He wants someone lesser. Then Keith Thurman was doing interviews and he was like, yeah, I'm not fighting Errol Spence. I'm not fighting Danny Garcia. I'm not fighting Sean Porter. I'm not even going to fight Jesse Vargas, right? I'm going to fight someone that's most likely not in the top 10. So just a disappointing turn of events. I don't know if Keith Thurman has a hunger. I don't know if he has something like in his personal life, but the division is moving. Terrence Crawford's about to fight tomorrow and try to nab a title. If not, then Jeff Horn's gonna retain his title and prove that he's a top player. You know what I mean? If you beat Terrence Crawford, you, you're automatically a top player. You know, if you beat him fair and square. And the division's moving without Keith Thurman. Sean Porter, Danny Garcia are going to fight for Keith Thurman's old belt. Even Pacquiao, who's had a long, illustrious career, he's getting ready to fight Lucas Matisse for the regular WBA belt. Keith Thurman does have the WBA super belt, but just these little pushbacks and, oh, I'm coming back in August, coming back September 8th now. Like, it's just the story of Keith Thurman's recent career. Oh, he'll be back in December. Okay, never mind. January, February. Okay, April. No, it's going to be in May. No, he's come back August 4th. Now it's September 8th. So just real disappointing. I don't really have anything else to say. I wish the man luck. I don't know if he wants to continue boxing or what his deal is. Or if, like I said, that fire got a couple cool paychecks. His last two fights have been his biggest fights. I don't know if that has made him more complacent. I, I don't know. The marriage. I don't, I don't know what's going on because he hasn't really been on tape on record explaining what's going on so i would like to see him i like the way he fights you know i, mean? I think he's a good fighter so i want to see him back in the mix errol spence is coming up has a homecoming fight against ocampo is mandatory and then keith thurman is the only one that's kind of like out of the whole loop and he was the guy with the most belt so unfortunate to see let me know what you guys think but now they're saying keith thurman's return is slated a month later to September 8th, no opponent has been named, no venue, no confirmation, but we'll see. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego, son. No. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. 
Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.